What's going on everybody? It's your boy Scotty. I'm coming at you live from Marion, Ohio. The reason I'm in Marion, Ohio, I'll show you right real quick. As long as I don't fall over my shoes, I'll be alright. But anyways, the reason I'm in Marion, Ohio is this reason right here. CFI. CFI. Now it's going to show backwards on the screen, but that's okay. But uh, I jumped ship again. I'm in this hotel room. I guess I like being in hotel rooms, but <clears throat> but uh, I decided to uh, jump ship and come aboard uh, CFI. Now I got orientation coming up. Uh, Monday morning at 8 a.m. So I just wanted to let everybody know what was going on. I got a video of me in a truck for CR England. And then the very next week I jumped ship to CFI. So it's kind of crazy. But, you know, the money's not there with CR England. I, the only reason why I went to CR England in the first place is because they, uh, they took my brother in. And me and him was going to team up. But whenever the company wants to throw you in a truck that the transmission's messed up in it, uh, windshield wipers don't work, and uh, you know a few other things is wrong with the truck. So that just, that just made me think, nah, I'm good. I don't want this company, so I don't want to be here with this company. I don't want to, you know. The last company I was with, they actually had me in a good truck. It only had, I think I said, 98,000 miles in it. So, that's, uh, that's the reason why I decided to jump ship and go to uh, um, CFI. So, uh, CFI is uh, saying that they'll put me in a, a newer truck. Uh, Supposed to have an A or not an APU unit in it, but the trucks are not supposed to shut down. They're supposed to be able to idle all night. Also, uh, excuse me, it's also supposed to have a power APU unit in it or not APU. God dang, why do I want to say APU? But a power inverter in it to where I can actually plug stuff up, like cooking stuff, and and uh, and a, hopefully it has a refrigerator already in it. But if not. I'll make me a special trip home just to get my refrigerator out of the truck or out of the house and uh, put it back in the truck. It didn't bother me last time it was in the truck. It ain't going to bother me this time that it's in the truck. So, But anyways, guys, I just wanted to take this time out to tell everybody what was going on. I got all the lights on in the room. As you all can tell, I got, I got that one there. The only one I don't have on is my bathroom light, which actually... This damn thing has three fucking lights in it, which is actually pretty cool. Because there's one, which is pretty cool. That's another one, which is pretty cool, which actually has a fan in it. And then you got that one, which is actually a heat light. Now, what I mean by heat light is, is the lights right there. And this thing that's on the wall right there. If I turn it, kills the light. Turn it back on. It's on a timer. So you can actually stand under and get UV light if you want some UV light, which is actually pretty cool. So, but anyways, guys, I just uh, wanted to let you guys know what was going on. Uh, the reason why I'm no longer with uh, CR England and no longer in their truck, so... Let's get back out here. But, you know, guys, gals, everybody, it's just one of those days whenever... I don't think you really want to do is sleep. And that's what I've been doing all day today, sleeping, really. I don't know why. Um, I went out earlier and got me a couple packs of cigarettes and got me something to eat, but... Other than that, I've been sleeping all day, and just it just doesn't make sense to me why I'm wanting to sleep. I mean, is it because I'm tired? Is it because I'm bored and there ain't nothing to fucking do? 
If I was home, I wouldn't be sleeping. I guarantee you that. I know for a fact I wouldn't be sleeping. And if I was out on the road right now, I wouldn't be sleeping, but it is what it is, so. Uh. But like I said, I got orientation coming up Monday. Uh. I want to uh, let you guys know how it goes. Uh, it's supposed to be like four days of orientation. I know uh, uh, paperwork, drug test, and they're supposed to do physicals, uh, which I already got my physical done. I got it done two weeks ago, so it should be okay. They should be able to take it. I don't see why they wouldn't, but uh, Drug test consists of either a hair follicle test or a piss test. I'm not sure yet which, but I will let everybody know uh, once um, once that time comes and everything, and I get everything taken care of and get on the road and everything else like that. So just bear with me once I um, get out there and get everything taken care of. I got to do uh, a driving skills test, a backing test to see if I'm confident enough to drive their trucks, which shouldn't be no thing i should be able to pass it with flying colors as long as they don't make me do a fucking parallel park which i have not been trained how to do a parallel park i do not know how to parallel park an 18 wheeler i can do a straight line back offset back a 90 degree back a 45 degree back but i cannot do a parallel park that's one thing i cannot do i i try to refuse how to do or try to avoid having to do that no matter what so it, it is what it is with that situation. Now, if they make me do it, then I'm like, look, bro, I've never done a parallel park. I didn't have to on my test, so I do not know how to do it. But I can do every other back you want me to do. Offset, parallel park, or offset uh, left, offset right, straight line, 45 or 90. Do you take your pick? Which one do you want me to do? But if they if they insist me doing a parallel park, I'm like, you show me how to do it first, and then I'll do it. But I've never been showed how to do it. I've never been taught how to do it. I know it's something like an offset. But you got to put your your trailer at a certain spot, and and then once you do that, you gotta you gotta turn the wheel this way, and then turn the wheel back that way. And it's just yeah, it's. I'm sure I could do it. I just got to figure out how to do it. I've never been taught how to do it. Never you know showed myself how to do it. So I'm not really gonna try to do it. So, but anyways, like I said, I'm sitting up here in Marion, Ohio. They got me at the America's Best Value Inn. It's a, it's an old ass uh, hotel. I think it's been here for fucking thirty years. I mean, it looks like it has anyway. So, I mean, I've done upgrades to it a little bit. Some of the upgrades, you can tell it's been upgraded. Some of the upgrades, you can tell it's not been done. So. But if you look right there over my shoulder, it looks like this room had leaked once before and they tried to patch it up, but they didn't use the right sheetrock to patch it up. It looks like they uh, just uh, did a half ass job of doing it. So, but I'm right off the, ho or right off the highway here. Uh, I think it's highway, US 33 is where I'm at, right off of US 33 and, uh, I don't remember the other street that I'm on, but I got a I got an Aldi store right across the street from me, or right across the parking lot actually from me. I walk right straight out my door, right straight down, straight up, right out to their to their parking lot pretty much. I got a gas station across the street that way of me. I got a got a, a bar and grill right next door to me. I don't know if I'm allowed to go in there and drink, but I haven't drank in so damn long. I think the last time I actually drank anything was uh whenever i was in uh knoxville for my uh my trucker training <laughs> with the boys down there which is crazy uh, i think only one of them is left with the company started out with with pam transport i'm not sure if they still are i've heard a bunch of them's left which i think all of them all of them that uh went through uh the training program with me, all of them is gone. A few of them got jobs back home, which is actually pretty cool. 
a few of them just went to other companies and stuff so I went to a different company of course I, I left Pam and went to CR England which was retarded and then I left CR England and came to CFI so that's pretty cool I'll see how CFI treats me if they treat me good and get me in a good truck and get me running down the road and all this stuff hopefully it's a good deal and if not I might just I might just jump back to Pam I mean Pam gave me a good truck so I might just do that too it just depends I don't I'm not sure yet I haven't made up my mind um, I might even just go ahead and go home and find me a job at home I mean it's one of those situations too so that's probably that's probably what I mean my best bet I mean there's a lot of jobs at home that I could do I mean they got I called a couple companies back home and they said come on if as long as you got your your per, your uh, credentials and shit like that to do it come on so I might be I might be jumping shit just just I don't know yet I haven't I haven't made up my mind yet I don't know but I want to thank all you all that's uh, subscribed to me um, Which a good thing about this hotel actually, I can smoke in my room, which is pretty cool. That's cool. That's a good thing. All the other hotels that I've been in, I wasn't allowed to smoke in my room. But at this, excuse me, at this time I do not have a roommate. I'm not sure if I'm going to get one. Which, if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. It's just it's going to be one of those things. Either way, they asked me whenever I checked in. They was like, "Do you want a smoking room or a non-smoking room?" Which actually threw me back. I was like. Do I got smoking rooms here? And dude was like, yeah, we got smoking rooms and non-smoking rooms. I was like, give me a smoking room, bro. I smoke. I'm a smoker, so give me a smoker. He's like, right at the top of the steps is your room. Here's your key. Here you go. Sign this paperwork, and there you go. So, I, yeah, it was it was that quick and easy and all that good stuff. So, yeah, it's been it's been real. Them bus rides, man. Them bus rides are crazy as hell, though. Uh, the bus ride down from. Uh, South Holland, uh, or actually from uh, Burns Harbor, I rode the shuttle. I rode, I rode CR England shuttle bus down to Burns Harbor from uh, from uh, South Holland, and then I hopped on the uh, the Barons bus line. Bus. Uh, those buses are actually pretty nice buses. I mean, they they're state of the art. And they got good Wi-Fi, depending on where you go, actually, but. Uh, and then I rode it all the way down to Columbus, Ohio. I was in Columbus for like three hours, and then I uh, jumped uh, jumped on a Greyhound bus up here to uh, Marion, Ohio. Uh, I was close to the back <laughs> on the Barons bus, and I sat right behind the driver on the Greyhound bus because there was no seats in the back. So I, I found the first available seat that I could find for me and put my stuff in it. That was it. That was how how it went. So and. Uh, but anyways, guys, I uh, just wanted to take this time and thank everybody. I appreciate everything that y'all do for my channel. Uh, go ahead and uh, share my page, man. Just share it, you know. Uh, just pick a video on my channel. I don't care which video it is. Just pick a video, share it, um, you know. Um, share it to your, your, uh, your Facebook. Share it to your Twitter. Share it to, you know. Just different pages to help help produce my my channel. I I, great, I would greatly appreciate everything. So uh, just go ahead and do that if y'all don't care, guys. I appreciate it. Um, try I'm trying to get as many subscribers as possible. I'm trying. I'm hoping by the end of the year to, to at least have at least a hundred subscribers. <laughs> if I get a hundred subscribers by the end of the year, it would be a it would be a privilege. But I I. Honestly, it'd be it'd be even better to get a thousand, but I got to find more content to give you guys. And if you guys comment on my page and comment on my, you know, tell me tell me what would be uh, be good content uh, for me, you know, because me being a truck driver, I don't know what you all want to see. I don't, you know, it's just one of those situations where what what should I what should I post? You know, I'm not gonna post how to cook food off the off the exhaust or anything like that something stupid like that I'm not gonna do that 
So, I mean, the uh, the truckers before us, yeah, they probably did do that stuff to keep their self fit and, you know, roadkill. And I'm not, no, I'm not going to do that. But, you know, just if you want me to show you all a video of how to couple a trailer or, or you know, how to hook a trailer up or how to disconnect or, or you know, something in that nature, I can, I can show you all how to do that. I was going to try to get a pre-trip inspection video out, but I never had time to do so. It was too cold out to do it, so I wasn't going to sit there and just hold a, hold a camera and, and, and say, this is how you do this, this is how you do that, and blah, 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 blah. No, I can't do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to show you how to do that in the cold weather. So I'm hoping to be able to get that video out sometime. I'm not sure when it'll come, but I'm hoping it'll be out sometime this year. Uh, but guys please 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 subscribe to my channel I appreciate everything uh, I know I'm coming out as a, as a cocky son of a bitch but technically I am a cocky son of a bitch I've been a cocky son of a bitch all my life um, I've had that attitude mindset uh, to be cocky because I was always pushed around growing up so bullying is one of those things that I cannot freaking stand in my life uh, I was bullied all through school, elementary school, middle school, high school. Um, not, not so much in high school because I pretty much stayed to myself. You know, I had my little clique that I hung out with and everything else like that. All the guys from the JRTC program, class of 2004, 2003. I appreciate all you guys for being there with me, sticking out with me and us and that. So, uh, kudos to you guys uh, for uh, making it. Um, do do what you guys do, man. You know, uh, a lot of my a lot of my friends on my Facebook page, uh, they're from school or they're family. You know, I don't have any any YouTubers on my page except for maybe a couple. Um, you know, but I don't ever talk to them. They don't ever message me. So I try to message them, but they don't ever read my shit. So it's just one of those things. Uh, you guys, it's just, I appreciate everything that y'all do for me, though. I'm just, I'm just grateful for everything. I haven't, like I said, I've only got maybe 25 subscribers total. So if I can get 75 more subscribers by the end of the year, it'd be awesome. But, guys, I want to, I want to say goodnight to everybody. I'm, I'm just rambling on. I mean, I ain't got nothing else to do here besides sit in this damn hotel room and, I look at the fucking yellow walls, and yeah, I mean, they're fucking mustard yellow. The one right here in front of me, it's actually orange, but it's shit fucking color orange. But I'm going to smoke this cigarette and grab me a little bit of Coke. And, and I don't mean Coke like you snort up your nose. I'm talking about the Coke that you drink. But, uh, really, guys, just, just thank you. Thank you all. Let me get some coke over there real quick. So I've got me some coke here now. <clears throat> all right. Like I said, y'all, I'm not sure what y'all want me to want me to do on my page. So I'm a truck driver. <laughs> I do truck driver stuff. So uh, if I'm not mistaken. I have videos on my iPhone, which I need to actually get out of my my uh, backpack and and uh, try to get those uploaded. <laughs> Cause I I don't remember when the last time I actually uploaded a video off of that. So 
And like I said, guys, I want to thank you all from the bottom of my, bottom of my heart for everything that you all have done for me. Uh, continue to like and subscribe. Continue it. You know, like, subscribe, comment down below for anything and everything. Uh, I appreciate everything that you all do for me. So, guys, I want to thank you all once again. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen.